So I am covering L&D today and it's kind of hopping, but I went through my list of all the patients and there's one topic I want to chat with y'all about, and that is amnio infusion. Now, during the course of your labor, if you have spontaneous rupture membranes or artificial rupture membranes, sometimes the lack of amniotic fluids surrounding the fetus in labor can cause core compression with uterine contractions, and that can lead to fetal heart rate decelerations. Now, this is uterine contraction pattern, and this is an example of a variable deceleration. And they can look lots of different ways. I won't go into uh, all the criteria to classify something as a variable deceleration, but that's kind of what they look like in relation to uterine contractions. So what we can do is take this uh, device called an intrauterine pressure catheter and place it through the vagina, through the cervix, and up inside the uterus. And you can see that right here. It goes through the cervix and up inside the uterus. This is an example of the fetal scalp electrode, but this is the intrauterine pressure catheter. And once that catheter is in place, we can infuse uh, intravenous solutions actually, or IV fluids, namely lactated ringers, through that catheter into the, uh, into the intrauterine cavity to help provide some fluid around that fetus and umbilical cord to help resolve those variable decelerations. Now, another thing about the IUC, IUPC or intrauterine pressure catheter is, is that it more accurately uh, evaluates uterine contractions and the resting tone of your uterus in between contractions. So once the amnion infusion is in place, we need to continue to monitor the fetal heart rate tracing. We need to monitor the resting tone of the uterus, and we want to make sure that there is return of fluid through the vagina. You don't just want to put a bunch of fluid in the amniotic uh, cavity or in the intrauterine cavity with no return of fluid. You do want some of that fluid to uh, come out through the vagina and onto the pads. Did you have an amnion infusion during the course of your labor? Tell me about it in the comments.